Hi Venusian, this is a video about how to use Turnitin as an instructor or lecture. Turnitin is plagiarism detection software that scans student work, format text by comparing the work to a large database of student work, publications, and materials on the internet. Turnitin provides instructors with a web-based plagiarism detection service to identify suspected acts of plagiarism. It can also be used in formative assessment to help students learn to avoid plagiarism and improve their writing. Let's start. Please input the Turnitin URL website, turnitin.com. The website page will be shown. Please input your user ID and password. Adding a class. Select the Add Class button to start creating a class to visit the Create a New Class page. Enter a class name and enrollment key. Your student can use the enrollment key to join your class. The class end date is the date that your class expires. When a class expires, the student can no longer submit papers or enroll in the class. The default duration for all classes is 6 months. If you want your class to last longer, you can change the end date at any time. Select the Submit button to add the class to your Instructure homepage. Class Information The class will now appear in your class list on the Instructure homepage. The number to the left of your class name is the class ID. Students will use this ID along with the class enrollment key to enroll in your class. You can view your class enrollment key at any time by clicking the gear shape edit icon to the right of your class. You should give your class ID and enrollment key to your students so they can enroll in your class and submit their papers. Please don't share your enrollment key publicly outside your institution. With a class ID and key, anyone at any institution will be able to join your class. Create an assignment. Within your class homepage, click on the class ID to access your class. Within your class homepage, click on the Add Assignment button to create an assignment. To create an assignment, select the assignment type and then click the next step button. Enter the assignment title and choose a start date and due date for the assignment. The default assignment option is to allow the file types that Turnitin can check for similarity. However, for a non-writing assignment, the instructor can select allow any file type. The students will be able to submit their papers to the assignment folder starting on the start date and until the due date passes. Select the submit button to add the assignment to your class homepage. Submit a paper on behalf of a student. If you'd like to submit a paper on behalf of your student, select View alongside the paper assignment name to open the assignment inbox. After the assignment inbox is open, select the Submit Paper button. On the paper submission page, enter the paper's title and select the author's name 
from the Others drop-down menu of Enrolled Students. You can upload a file from your computer, Dropbox, or Google Drive. When you are done, select the Upload button to upload the paper. Accessing the Submission Inbox You can open the Assignment Inbox from your class homepage by selecting the View link in the Action column alongside the Paper Assignment. After you submit a paper, the system will begin processing the paper and will generate a similarity report within minutes for supported file types. To view the report, select the Inbox button on the Submission Confirmation page. Your assignment inbox will open. Viewing a Similarity Report The assignment inbox shows the submitted papers with their similarity reports. To open the similarity report for a paper, select the report icon. A grayed out report icon indicates the report has not yet been generated. Please wait a few moments and click your browser's refresh button. The similarity report will open in a new window. This is called the document viewer. The document viewer allows the instructor to access each Turnitin product in one location and view all the products simultaneously as layers. All the top sources found to match the paper submission are in the sidebar to the right of the paper content. Top sources have the closest match to the document stacks. To view all the underlying sources for a top source, hover the cursor over the source and select on the arrow icon. The overlapping sources are listed below the top source. To exclude a source from the match breakdown list, select the Select Excluded Sources button. Select the Select Excluded Sources button at the bottom of the source list. Select the checkbox for each source you would like to exclude. Once you have selected all the sources to exclude, use the Exclude button at the bottom of the match breakdown list. If the sources that were excluded affect the similarity index, it will recalculate and display a new percentage of matching content. Leaving Feedback From the assignment inbox, click on the blue pencil icon next to the paper title to grade the student's submission online. Use the outline grading tools to grade the student's submission online. This feedback studio contains several tools and type of marks that instructor can use in grading and assessing papers. This include the following comments, rubric scorecards, inline comments, summary comments, quick mark comments, and voice comments. Similarity Index The color of the report icon indicates the similarity score of the paper. Based on the amount of matching or similarity text that was uncovered, the percentage range is 0% to 100%. Students need to be sure to consult with the instructor syllabus. Contact them directly or review the institution's overarching policies on what count as an acceptable similarity score. Every instructor or assignment could very well have a different amount of matching tags that is considered acceptable. And that's it! If you have any questions, 
our librarians are happy to answer through this channel. Don't forget to follow and subscribe our social media. Thanks for watching.